What is going on everybody? It is Iraq e here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video, I'm going to run through some settings as quickly as possible that could help you get some better FPS and the best settings for Warzone Season 5. If you guys do enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. Always helps the channel grow each and every day. And uh, if you're interested in any Twitch, Twitter links, it's going to be in the description box down below. So, step one, uh, open up your control panel here. You can go to the power options. Uh, make sure you are on high performance. Click that, hit apply, um, and then hit back. Then we're gonna go over to system. We're gonna go to the advanced system settings. Make sure you uh, hit settings under performance. And then you can either do adjust for best performance or do custom. I personally do custom. By default, there's so many of these things that are checked that could help or that would negate like FPS and everything. I just have these three checked, animate windows when minimizing, maximizing, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you uh, hit that, okay, apply, all right. And then uh, you're good for this portion. Next, uh, type in system configuration. That'll bring this guy up. We're going to go to services we're going to do hide all microsoft services and then in here you want to uncheck anything that you do not need some of you might have some stuff in here that like you don't need at all just make sure it's unchecked uh when you do you just hit uh apply okay you're all set with that next come down here we're going to type in privacy settings it is going to bring up this guy um majority of these items on the left hand side here when you click into them you can disable them like uh i don't need this email thing uh call history phone calls calendar uncheck all this stuff because having this stuff on actually does have a little bit of an impact on your computer so like a lot of the stuff i have all off you can do as well but the huge one here is background apps when you have that make sure this is ticked off and then make sure all these are ticked off as well um, you can see a, a pretty good boost here with your settings if you turn all this stuff off. From here, you're going to just click the home button. Uh, oh, we'll go into the gaming session. Game bar, make sure this is turned off. Game mode, make sure this is turned off. Captures, uh, everything turned off. Xbox Network, T turn all this stuff off. Um, you can see for yourself if having this stuff on helps you out. Me personally, does not help me at all. All. so turning this stuff off did help me to get a few more frames here and there because every little frame does help with warzone because it's not the most optimized game in the world so okay next part is for nvidia graphics cards users uh if you have like amd or whatever i'm sorry i don't know the settings for this i i've never had one maybe this this stuff is sort of similar i'm not sure but for the NVIDIA graphics cards user, if you right click, you can have your NVIDIA control panel right here. Uh, if you don't have it when you right click for some reason, just type in control panel and it'll be right here for you, the NVIDIA control panel. So uh, the items that we're gonna be looking at in here, um, adjust image settings with preview, come in here. You're gonna wanna have use the advanced 3D image settings ticked. And then we're going to go into manage 3d settings what you're going to want to do is go to program settings you're going to want to hit this drop down and look for call of duty if you don't have call of duty you're going to want to hit add and then it's got pop up call of duty is right there for me so we're going to hit add selected program now you can use uh the settings i have here or you can test different ones out if you want to but yeah image sharpening off anastropic filtering off gamma correction off and aliasing off uh cuda's the global setting is on all but just make sure you have your uh, graphics card here selected um low latency mode i have is on um i think i could be wrong with this part i think if you have like a really bad pc you put this on ultra i think um someone wants to correct me in the comment section go for it i'm not going to be butthurt over it so max frame rate I have is off. I guess technically you can come in here, turn this on and put a max frame rate if you want to, but I don't have a max frame rate. Uh, my monitor is G-Sync compatible. So that's why I have that selected. Uh, Multi-frame stapling off open render GPU 
make sure your graphics card is selected power management prefer maximum performance you definitely want that um refresh rate i use highest available shader cache on texture filtering on for the uh, anastropic negative ld i have is allow texture filtering quality i have as performance texture filtering trilinear on threaded optimization auto triple buffering off vertical sync off virtual reality use global setting as one once you have that all that hit apply you're good with the nvidia settings uh next before we go into the game come down here type percent temp percent it's going to bring up a temporary uh like item folder if you have anything in here just delete it trust me you don't need it it's not going to hurt your folder it's just temporary files that your computer has saved and i would do this like every other day every day before you play uh it'll help you tremendously so without further ado let's go into the game all right, so inside of Warzone, here's just a couple things that I recommend you do. You don't have to do it by all means. Graphics, uh, play full screen. If you don't play on full screen, I don't know why you, uh, I don't know, like people say, because you want to tab in and out. Uh, honestly, it's not a big deal and you get better performance out of full screen. Um, display monitor, make sure it's the monitor you're using. Uh, adapter, make sure it's graphics cards using. Uh, refresh rate make sure it is the refresh rate of your monitor so if you have a 60 hertz monitor make sure it's 60 120 144 so on 240 make sure it's 240 um render resolution make sure this is 100 and then uh display resolution play 1920 by 1080 if this doesn't work for you and you need something a little bit you know not as powerful or whatever uh, i would use 16 by 9 i wouldn't go anything lower than that the game will look like absolute dog um Aspect ratio, make sure that's automatic. <clears throat> V-Sync, disable. Custom frame rate, that's what I use. Uh, put this to your monitor refresh rate. Um, you probably won't get that many more frames anyways, unless you have a goddamn spaceship as your PC. Um, menu frame rate, whatever. You don't, This doesn't need to be incredibly high. I just have it at 60. Um, but yeah. NVIDIA highlights, disable those. Um, gamma, 2.2. Uh, resolution, you could put this down like all the way and you can see how much your VRAM will go down, but it'll absolutely look terrible. If you absolutely need to, I would do it. But uh, I play on normal. High and normal aren't like huge difference in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the texture filter on here, it, it, it doesn't like do anything for your FPS. So I just have that on high. Particle quality, low. Bullet impact, this is like personal preference. Uh, I just have it enabled because I like to see bullets. Um, tessellation, disable that. Um, shadow map resolution, I have that low. Cache, spottos, and sun shadows, I have enabled. Uh, if you have this enabled, it actually like helps load some things in quicker because it's already stored. Uh, so this is like the one thing I would have enabled. Particle lighting, low. Direct ray tracing, disable that shit. Uh, ambient occlusion, disabled. Screen space, uh, disable. Anti-aliasing. Um, to get the, the, the most amount of frames as possible, I would have this off. Um, but if you want like a little bit of a cleaner look, um, I would put this on SMAA1, but I, I would not go higher than, than this one. So, but I just play off depth of view disabled, uh, filmic strength, zero motion blur disabled, weapon blur disabled. Make sure you ha you'll get a goddamn headache if you play with this on all the time. And then, um, film grain I have at zero, um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys did find this video at all helpful, enjoyable, helped you a little bit, like on the video, subscribe for more content. Um, and uh, if you want to leave me a comment, go for it. And I appreciate all the support, any support we get on the channel. You guys, uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, that's about it. You guys know the drill. I'll see you in the next one.